Hi there and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will create an equipment out of an asset. Therefore, we first navigate to transaction code SPRO to do some customizing. Click on Zap Reference IMG and then under Financial Accounting, Asset Accounting, Master Data, Automatic Creation of Equipment Master Records, we open this arrow over here and here you can see basically two customizing steps that we need to maintain. The third one is only for custom development if we need some enhancements. So let's inspect the first. It's called specify conditions for synchronization of master data. So here we have our different asset classes that are existing in the system. And for these asset classes, if we want an equipment to be automatically created out of an asset, we need to define a synchronization. So let's just take machinery and equipment as an example double click on this one and then over here you can see edit asset master record we have two different steps this is for the creation of equipments and this is for the change of an equipment so let's inspect the former one it's currently set to no synchronization so this means if we create an asset within the asset class 2000 no equipment will be created automatically when saving the asset however as you can see, we have three different options here. First is called saving triggers a workflow. This means that whenever we save an asset, a workflow is triggered, which leads in the end to the creation of an equipment. However, it's not created automatically. Then we have direct synchronization after saving. So this means that whenever we create an asset within the asset class 2000, then upon saving, directly an asset will be created. And we have direct synchronization plus workflow. So this means that both the equipment is created out of the asset and also workflow is triggered. For now, we will set it to two direct synchronization after saving. Also, we can set the same here for change of equipment. This means that whenever we change an asset in the system, the respective equipment will be changed automatically. So for instance, if we change the title of an asset, then also the title of the equipment will be changed accordingly. As you can see further down, we also have the other direction to create an asset out of an equipment, but this one we will look at in a different session. So for now, this is fine. Let's click on save. Let's now go back and back again and inspect the second customizing step. It's called assign master data fields of assets and equipment. And as the name suggests, you can assign here the different asset master data fields to the equipment master data fields. So meaning that when we fill, for instance, the company code of our asset, also the company code of the equipment will be filled accordingly when saving the asset. The same counts for the description and also the cost center and so on. You can see here in this column assignment is active. This is quite important. Otherwise, this data won't be synchronized directly when saving the asset. You can also click on new entries to even insert more fields that should be synchronized between the asset and the equipment. But for now, this is fine. Before we can actually test the process, there is one more step we should check. Therefore, we navigate to the transaction code slash n a o l k. That's slash n a o l k. And over here, you can see our asset classes again. So let's select our asset class that we took as an example, 2000. And then we click on general assignment of layout. And over here, really important is that for the transaction group others, we assign the tab layout SAP. If this is not set to SAP in your system, you should change it to SAP because this will actually define all the different tabs that we can see in the asset master record. And if we don't set it to SAP or something equivalent, then you can't see a section for the equipment in the asset master record. And this will also hinder the synchronization between the asset and the equipment. So make sure to set it to SAP, or you can also try something similar by inserting here values and then checking via transaction code slash n SA03 if you can find the section called equipment in your asset master record. Okay, for now this is fine. This is it for the customizing. The last step would be to actually test the process. So we create a new asset via slash n AS01. We provide our asset class 2000 and then a company code, by the way, if you want to find out more about the creation of assets, I will link you another video of mine in the description of this one. And then we click on master data or on enter on our keyboard. Now we need to provide at least a description. Let's say test synchronization, something like that. Then we can check for other mandatory fields real quick. At least the cost center we need to provide. That's basically it. And here under assignments, if we scroll down, 
you should see the section integration of assets and equipments. That's why I told you it's so important to check the former transaction code we have inspected, because it could be that if there is another layout than SAP assigned, that you can't see this section over here. Okay, in this section you can see already synchronization is marked and all the other relevant data as well. There is no equipment number yet. However, if we now save the asset, you will see that the number will be generated over here in this section. So we click on save and then we go to transaction code slash NAS03, click on enter to inspect the asset, go to the assignment tab, scroll down a bit and then over here you can see the equipment number of the equipment that was generated automatically upon saving our asset. We can even double click on this one and then we are forwarded to the equipment master record. So this is how you can create an equipment out of an asset automatically in SAP S4 HANA Finance. I hope you liked this video. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.